welcome to our first installment of Illinois Eggs in the Classroom. I'm Chris. And I'm Lincoln. I work for Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom. Usually schools around the state are beginning to learn about embryology as they go on an adventure hatching their own eggs uh, in their classrooms. Unfortunately, we can't do that this year. But Lincoln and I got our hands on an incubator and some fertilized chicken eggs, and so we're going to be attempting to hatch our very own eggs here at home. And yep. we would like to take you along for the ride. It's time to get enthusiastic. Oh, Dad. Oh, come on. Don't ruffle your feathers at me. We're just getting started. So here are our chicken eggs. In a minute, I'll show you how we got them ready to go into the incubator. But first, mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the parts of an egg. Yep. Here is the eggshell. Most chicken eggshells are white or brown. Some chickens, such as Americanas, lay blue and green eggs. Sometimes these are called Easter eggers. The air cell right here is a pocket of air formed at the large end of the egg between the shell membranes that increase in size with age. This is caused by the contraction of the contents as the egg cools after laying. You'll also notice both the thick and the thin albumen. This is the clear-like portion of the egg that is the major source of egg riboflavin and protein. It provides protein to the growing embryo and cushions the embryo during development. It also protects against microbes. The yolk is the yellow portion of the egg. It's a major source of vitamins, minerals, and almost half of the protein in an egg. This little thing right here is labeled the germinal disc. It's also called a blasto disc. This is the location where the embryo will develop if the egg is fertilized. Once it's fertilized, it's called a blastoderm. The final part I want to point out is right here called the caleza. This is a cord-like twisted strand that anchors the yolk into the center of the egg. And those are the basic parts of an egg. So last night we got our incubator and fertilized chicken eggs. Our incubator is a super basic model with no bells and whistles. There are much more expen expensive incubators that adjust temperatures and humidity automatically. For ours, we have to keep a close eye on what's happening inside. We want our incubator to hold a steady temperature of just under 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Too hot or too cold, and the embryos inside those eggs won't develop into baby chicks. We also add water to the bottom to help make the air inside the correct humidity. Your now chicken eggs need to be rotated frequently to help the embryos develop correctly inside. When a hen sits on her nest of eggs, she naturally does this throughout the day and moves the eggs around as she goes. In our incubator, we need to either turn them multiple times a day by hand or we need to use an automatic egg turner like this yellow one we have in our incubator. Now you'll notice we're also marking the eggs with a pencil. Since this is all new to us, we wanted to make sure the eggs were actually being turned and so this is our way of checking to make sure that they're moving throughout the day. Sort them? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, that's just how I put them in there. Do you want to do them a different way? chickens grow on? Uh, eggplants. Uh, chickens don't grow on eggplants, Dad. How about this one? What kind of tree does a chicken grow on? A poultry. Um, <laughs> chickens don't grow on trees. 
They grow in eggs. Now. All right. Okay. Well, that's all we have for you today. Check back again tomorrow for another video update of what's going on with our incubating eggs. See yep. you guys. Bye.